Good morning children. Today we shall learn about water cycle. We already know it is the rain which fills in all the lakes, rivers etc. But the question is what causes rain? Let us see. So here is the sun. What does sun do? The sun heats the water in all the water bodies be it ponds, lakes, rivers etc. So the water here changes into water vapor and the water vapor rises in the air. Then it cools and forms small water droplets. These water droplets form clouds and inside the cloud what happens? The smaller water droplets join to form bigger water droplets. Finally this big drops become so heavy that the clouds cannot hold them and what happens next? This water drops they fall as rain and we get rainfall and this is the rain which fills in all the lakes, rivers, ponds again and this is not it the cycle continues again the sun heats up the water in the lakes, ponds etc water vapor is formed and then clouds are formed then again we get rain and again the lakes are filled up so this is water cycle so now you know what is water cycle it is the cycle of water forming water vapor clouds then falling as rain filling up ponds and again continuing so this was water cycle the water cycle is the journey water takes as it circulates from the land to the sky and back again to the land. Kids, now your special friend Dragonfly will show you the very special journey of the water. The sun plays an important role in this journey. The sun's heat evaporates water from the earth's surface. The water vapor rises up and eventually condenses forming tiny droplets of water in the clouds. When the clouds become heavy and are not able to hold more, they fall as rain and fill up the oceans, rivers, lakes, ponds with water. The water again evaporates from these water bodies and the cycle of water continues. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.